All right, welcome back, Chatty Chatters, to more Frostpunk. In anticipation of Frostpunk 2 coming out sometime later this year, we're playing through at least the original scenario and as many of the DLCs as we can. Couldn't recommend this game enough, and it has uh, it's often on sale on Steam, and so I'd recommend not only getting the base game, but also all the DLCs too, as they help to complete the story and have a lot of great challenges as well. Oh, there we go. Welcome back, guys. Good to see you. Thanks again for all the support. Welcome to all the new members, subscribers. This is our second episode. I have not played this game aside from a few days ago since like 2020. The last time we played this was the last Autumn DLC, which came out sometime around there, actually. And uh, we've we played through all the scenarios on the channel, so you can see them all there. Uh, but it's so good that it's like worth a playthrough. This is the type of game you might want to do a playthrough on every year. Like seriously, like each year you just go back to Frostpunk and... Um, it's its very own experience. It's incredible. I've been seeing uh, Frostpunk inspiring a lot of other games, like New Cycle, which came out a few days ago as well, although that plays a little bit more like Anno. It has the uh, same thing to do with weather, and I've seen that before as well in a game called um, Endzone, A World Apart, with uh, having to battle a post-apocalyptic Earth weather system, which is really interesting. Hot or cold, Frostpunk certainly is a uh, the one that inspired them all, and it's great. And I can't wait for the second one coming out soon. We'll be playing that for sure. Hundred Hundo Ten. So anyway, welcome back. Circle Seven salutes. Good to see you all here. Let's pick up where we left off. Day fifteen. A new home. The main story. Go. Again, whenever you fire up Frostpunk, it will say Frostpunk Two at the bottom because that's an advertisement for the upcoming game. So just remember, this is Frostpunk, just the original. Nicholas, thank you very much for the thirty-six months as a bear cub. A Frostpunk. Hearts in the chat. Let's go. Let's get back to where we were. Oh, boy. Cookhouses and medical posts will stop working if the temperature inside drops below chili. Okay. Ooh, chili's good, though, at the cookhouse. You wouldn't want any other temperature than chili. Chili's good. <laughs> chili will keep you warm. All right, let's pause. Let's figure out where we were. All right, so we've got uh, 36 Londoners. Wanting to disrupt the city. Oh, uh, oh, this saved right before we finished our second prayer house. Oh. Had it saved when we would have exited, but okay. Oh, there it goes. It just finished. Prayer house is built. Houses of prayer have been erected, giving people a place to pray together and find comfort in faith. Hope rises. Looks like our save jumped back like a day or two, but it's fine. All right. Uh, we're building the coal mine there for the atom, uh, atom, atom, nom, tom, tom. Looks like our people are on the way back with... Oh, no, they're going to the American camp, I believe. Yep, they're making their way there. Oh, and uh, what are we doing with the other scout team? Oh, they're on their way to... Freshwater Springs. Okay. Got a bunch of people working at the steel mill. We're desperate on coal. Where's our auto auto? Where's Fritz? Where's a little Fritzy? Also, we need to connect this to a road. And the other one is already connected. Okay, cool. Scouts have reached the freshwater springs. Several pools are kept freezing by a hot spring deep underground. Kept from freezing. Uh, patches of hardy lichens cling to the bare rock at the edges. It looks like a good place for a hideout. De degenerated but alive. Near the freshwater springs, we met some refugees from Winterhome. Uh, they're a sorry sight and seem to be completely unmoved by the fate of their city. Asked what kept them from starving, they uh, look away and then mumble something about eating lichens. Lights uncover the frozen grove. Escort them to the city. I think we should do that. Come on back, y'all. All right, so they're locked into coming back and they're gonna take a day. 13 hours. A 
Okay, we're good. Gotta get that coal mine constructed. And then we'll have our the auto over there working on that. Where is he working now? There he is. You come work over here now. I want to work it at the coal mine. And then we'll have everyone else working at the coal thumper. Ooh. Anyone who knows beans about chili knows chili has no beans. <laughs> yeah, you make chili however you want, really. It's a nice mix of all sorts of different flavors and heat. I like to have it with rice. Okay, actually, this is still warm. We're still warm. Are you going to refuel, sir? He's working his way around. Okay. Uh, save over that file. Cool. You prefer Skyline Chili? Yeah. Ooh, somebody finally died. Wow. On day 16, one of our people died. An engineer died of lack of treatment. Really? Good thing we prepared for that with all the ceremonies and such. I feel like your first playthrough is going to be the most challenging, even if after a while you've played, and also your most rewarding in terms of, like, game content. Because if you haven't played in a while, every decision will be a struggle. Let's get you guys to go there. All right, we're generating coal. Generators firing up. That's a shame. Lack of treatment. Everybody's in treatment. Thirty one being treated. Can Frostpunk be one? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, there's even, I think there's even an endless mode for this game, too. Which I think that is more on like a how long can you survive kind of thing. group of people coming back too. 
Okay. Yeah, zero hours of coal left, yeah. But we're, we are making coal, though. It, it is now increasing. We got a lot of our people going into the coal industry. We're going to stock up a lot of coal now. Thank you again for the hair. You're, you're welcome. I always bring my best. Thank you. Alright, generator upgrade reached. Oh, right, we're also researching a way to try to, uh, what the hell? To try to get the generator, uh, efficiency up. That's what it is. We want the generator efficiency increase so we don't have to consume as much coal. Yep. buildings. That doesn't matter because the automaton is working at the coal mine. Book of Laws is open again. Purpose and added Adaptation. Brian's an evening prayer. Let's go with evening prayer. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. Hope will rise. Right building's nice and toasty. Damn, this game looks so damn cool. It's ridiculous. It almost feels like we're not on Earth, you know? Like we're colonizing some alien planet or something. Right, our scouts are almost to the American camp. Efficiency increased. Excellent. All right, let's go with um, lighter scout sleds, or maybe an outpost depot. Then we can bring coal back from there too. Let's go with that because we found a coal mine right away. So we should immediately take advantage of that. Stick windmills at the top, brother. This is a fossil fuel world. So far, so good.
Doubts have made it to the American camp. There's not a living soul in the camp. We found a dozen emaciated bodies. Surprisingly, most of them were amputees fitted with prosthetics. Or pro... Yeah, whatever. Uh, steel and steam core. Starved Americans. The American camp was well supplied with everything except for food. Searching the tents, we found more victims of hunger. Most of them having belly worn... Uh, have bad, having badly worn but sophisticated artificial limbs bearing a company symbol, Tesla Manufacturing. We can only bury them and take their equipment. Sites discovered temporary settlement. Well, let's go there. Oh, and we're going to have to build new homes, aren't we, for the new people. And I think I want to redo my steam cores because I built them rather close. Although, we could also research the upgraded range first and then rebuild them. Or we can fire up the generator to tier 2. Evening prayers, united by faith. Sir, we're holding an evening of prayer this afternoon. Plenty of people are here. They're praying, but also talking and laughing. I haven't seen anything this heart heartening in, a, in the city in a long time. Really brought the community together. Glad to hear that. Oh, we can also upgrade bunk houses too. Will they hold more? No. Just ten. The burial ceremony is starting at the cemetery. Sorry, bro. This guy should have totally lived. Um... build four new houses there. And a steam hub. I could build it like behind them for now. then I could build additional homes there later. <sighs> hey, what's up, Jack? Yeah, the Power World stream? Yeah. Um, I got people on it. I got people working the problem. But, you know, lemonade out of lemons. Nineteen hours of coal remaining, and those scouts from group. Oh damn! Group two is bringing back a lot of stuff. Twenty-two people, seven children, ninety-nine food, fifty-five wood, and three steam cores. Whoa! Also build those new homes by the church too. Hmm. 
build a church there for him. We're going with faith this time around, too. I'd forgotten all about the faith and order choice that you have to make, and, um... That makes it a lot more interesting, too, because I'd, I'd, I'd just forgotten about everything in the game, so, like, I'm building a city as if I'm playing for the first time again. Which I think is a really good experience. I saw on Reddit the other day, Frostpunk, there's screenshots of automatons for Frostpunk, too. Oh, good! Some people were mentioning that and asking about that. Londoners gain more followers. We'll get them. Anybody outside the catchment area? We could d demolish any houses outside. Make a few homes here. Okay. Let's remove these homes and we'll move them over to where the churches are. And we can probably build medical posts here in the future. Get back to work. Okay, so far so good. What's your favorite Frostpunk scenario? Yours is The Last Autumn. I'm going to agree with that, yeah. Uh, they're all really good, though, in terms of what they do for the story, but when Last Autumn came around and actually showed, like, trees and stuff like that, I was like, no way, this is cool. They're all really good, but if I could only play one non-main scenario again, it would be Last Autumn. It, like, establishes so much more for the story, and I like the pre... It's like a prequel. Yeah. Don't forget about the infirmary. Yeah, we'll have to research that. Good, good call. Let's see if we can find out where that is. Ah, the infirmary here, yeah. We'll go down that route. sermon. Doubts have reached the temporary camp. The settlement seems to have been abandoned. It consists of several tidy wooden shacks that are now completely empty and up 
right boulder stands at, the, at its center. Memory of Injustice. The center of the settlement is marked with an upright boulder on its uh, roughly uh, planned face. Someone chiseled the following. May God forgive the genius who was who sacrificed the human lives in the name of progress, for we can't. Exiles of Tesla City. We won't touch the monument. We decide to dismantle the huts for wood. Covered a fishing village and a walled colony. Go to the walled colony. Let's go. Hope is rising. Oh, we can squeeze in a medical post there if need be. Or get rid of those and build the infirmary. We'll move some stuff around. Doubts have returned to the city. 22 people, 7 children, 99 food, 55 wood, and 3 steam cores. Uh, let's send you guys to... Dirty shelter. I think we'll go to... Rounded cave first. Outpost Depot re uh, researched. Excellent. Now we can uh, bring stuff back. Wait, we want to build over here. Let's do the infirmary. It's going to be so important. And build an outpost. out of steel. Cemetery, child's plea. Captain, we found a boy frozen to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh grave. He must have been there for hours. He wants you to call an emergency meeting. He says that if you agree, his mother will wake up to attendant. Hope will fall slightly. Damn it, the cemetery is supposed to avoid that. Scout groups on the way. What's up, Beth? Yeah, Frostpunk is so good. Well, the good news is coal is increasing. Not for long, though, but... There is hope. to work. What do we got? 17. Where do we build another 
hunting tent. shortly. The group's almost there. About five hours away. Eating protests, freezing homes. Captain, people have gathered to protest against the cold in their homes. They're angry that despite the health risks. No. Oh. They want you to act. All right, fine. We'll keep all the homes heated for three days. This is a gamble. This is a big gamble. Those two houses there are not in the heating area. So we'll move them. They're building more homes here, so everyone will have a house. <sighs> hey, Jan, welcome back, dude. Rising, discontent falling. Ooh. Got rid of the cold homes. Two more, though. Okay, it looks like everything was in, in the area. Purpose or adaptation? The temple. Londoners may occasionally mend their ways. Discontent will occasionally fall slightly. New ability, ceremonial service temple raises hope and confronts the discontented shrines. Shrines will raise the hope of people working nearby. 
Yeah. Shrines will increase efficiency in nearby workplaces. Oh. There's a lot of people working over here. A lot of people working at Coal Thumper and at the two uh, gathering points. Did we finish that infirmary? I need that infirmary up. Yeah, we're almost there. Now to reach the exiled colony. Numerous snow shelters expertly built from blocks of hard packed snow huddle around old burned out campfires. A deathly silence hangs over the colony. The Americans? Dying exiles. Some of the exiles are still alive, just barely. We could try to bring them to our city although they might die on the way one of the dying held a diary to his chest oh these must be from the tesla city hmm. um oh yeah exiled from tesla city with food and fuel running out we sent the st strongest among among us to search for help they're our last hope we're afraid this refers to the poor Yankees we buried. 17 engineers, let's bring them all back. Uh, we took the exiles to the city. We pulled the dying exiles, seven children, 17 engineers, 35 workers from the snow houses and prepared them for the journey to our city. Some of them stirred from their death-like slumber to bless their absent friends for bringing help. We couldn't tell them the truth, not yet. Alright, we've got a lot of people coming back. And we're putting more efforts into food. Uh, trouble with the Londoners, writing on the wall. Captain, someone has defaced the walls with predictions of doom for our city. This is troubling. People already feel a fear we share winter home's fate and scared minds are swayed by even the smallest nudges. Send a cleric to reassure people. Oh, did we get that outpost built? Oh, nice. Okay, we need steel in order to make an outpost team and 20 workers. Okay, we'll probably get that in the morning. More people will arrive and then we'll send them out and then we'll start bringing in coal and that'll be one less thing to worry about. You got this free on Epic a while back. Guess you should try playing it. Oh, really? This uh, Frostpunk was free on the Epic Game Store? Awesome. Great. Yeah, I feel like this is like a, a must play. Like, no matter what kind of games you play, you should give this one a try. It's not easy, but that's what makes it great. Even experienced players, you know, have trouble with stuff and restart, and it's great. Bull's getting a little low, but we'll be alright. Almost morning again. Temperature is going to drop to negative 60. Oh boy. We need to finish that infirmary and build that right away. Probably build that by the church. Or here. I 
I can move these hunter huts somewhere else. go to the shrouded cave. Uh, we can see a faint wisp of smoke coming from a patch of deep shadow at the base of a small hill. Must be the entrance to a cave in an inhabited cave. They want us to build two, two more shrines. And wood tent steel. Can we build the next one? Probably by the research offices. Infirmary researched. Excellent. search anything else it's probably going to require steel and I want to send out a team immediately for coal to the coal mine. Brian's built. Brian's have been erected. People feel encouraged to pray more often. Hope rises. Oh good. The Londoners are trending down. Breath of hope. Other people have started to leave personal charms. Uh, beads and written prayers at shrines as offerings. It seems it helps to keep their spirits up in these trying times. Glad to hear that. Okay, what next? Master scouts, coal mining optimization, coal mines will be more efficient. Oh, we could research a steam coal thumper.
we're going to be getting more coal shortly. But having more isn't going to be a bad thing. It's only going to get colder. Oh, it's going to get double cold and the people are going to be pissed at me. Oh, no. Oh, we're playing story mode. Wait a minute, I didn't even think about this. Oh, wait, these are two more days, though. That's one, two... Only have to do this for three days. Wait. Two days, six hours. So I think we'll be okay, because it's one, two, and then it'll freeze afterwards. I think we're okay. Coming back with people will arrive in 11 hours. And that's when the coal generator is going to shut down. got here oh the field kitchen each field kitchen will provide people working nearby with a hot meal to keep them warm raise the temperature of nearby workplaces by one level that's pretty good not for now house of healing That's good for extra healing. Discontent will rise. Ah, that's a little pushy. No more discontent, that's good. Like I could get how many uh, people does this require? Go mine probably requires ten. I feel like I want to get ten engineers in there for tomorrow. The automaton is just to keep it running during the night. I should switch those out. Yo, Fred, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much for the support. 
Where's Wayne, baby? I'm like... <laughs> I've slowed down my breathing like I'm holding my breath and such. This game makes you feel emotions. I think we'll make it with the cold. Uh, looks like a hard game. Yeah, this is definitely not an easy game, but it is a game where... It's like a roguelite city builder where you run through it, some RNG happens, but a lot of it's scripted, and then you do... Even if you do really well, you can still have some people die and stuff on your first couple of attempts. You like, you want to go back and do more. Like, oh, dude, I want to get in and like do a li better city layout. I want to do different research. I want to go a different route instead of the faith. I, I want to go down the uh, uh, the order route, that kind of thing. Ah, build an outpost for the coal mine. Outpost can be set up here delivering 800 coal every one day. Go, baby. All right, every 24 hours we get an 800 boost of coal. That's beautiful. Beautiful. And they're almost back with the people. 800 coal should be here in about 12 hours. Another act of vandalism. The Londoners have... Uh, to face more walls, urging everybody to join them and abandon the city. Some graffiti even mocks your leadership, branding you an unfit leader and capable of doing what it takes to save our people. Send a cleric. Those jerks. Yeah, we'll have to build uh, in. F we got to build an infirmary. We haven't built one yet, and I haven't built one yet because I don't have a hot area for it, and I don't want to do that until I secure the coal situation. Uh, a lot, a lot's going on. Anna, hello, welcome back. Oh God, a cleric has been beaten. Uh, Captain, a priest was assaulted while trying to reassure people disturbed by the Londoners' slogans. We should do something to protect our people. Hope will fall slightly. Discontent will fall slightly. We will pray for him and his assailants. Yeah, we're not going to do the faith keepers. Not yet. You love the Frostpunk streams? Well, welcome aboard. Infirmary also takes a steam core, but totally worth it. Hunter's tents are pretty easy to move around. I want to put that somewhere warm. Down to return safely to the city. Let's send them to the fishing village. people some houses.
let's make some extra coal. We got we got we got to heat some things up here. Scouts have reached the children's hideout. Oh. Uh, the cave is a hideout for some children who were evacuated from winter home. There are no adult survivors here. We should talk to the kids and take them to our city. Hey, kids. Like Fortnite? Come on. We're going to go to Fortnite City. Yay. All right, cool. Um, we talked to the children in the hideout. They said that the one night their teachers and hunters took them out uh, from winter home on a secret adventure. Teachers told them they're going to stay here for a while. When the food ran low, their guardians went back to get more and didn't return. Seems the kids were evacuated in time before things got really ugly. Alright, come on, kids. We formed the children into an orderly column and set off towards the city. They walk, uh, they walk quietly and re resolutely, like little adults, the youngest clutching their toys tightly. This is going to be a long journey. Please have enough warm beds prepared for their arrival. Oh boy. Yeah, Fall of Winter Home is like, yeah. It's it's amazing how they've um how at the beginning I kind of forgot about Winter Home and I like how through the DLCs they made it more and more important. Kind of like like a fascinating focus on a failure like that. Oh, I, this is great. We got the coal thumper going. We got the coal mine going, and then we've got coal being brought in from the outside too, via the uh, the outpost. <coughs> coal in three hours. Now, the infirmary. Good. Good. All the snow. Sparkling from all the snow. Steam Coal Thumper Researched. We have to delete this one to build a new one. We can do that at night. Well, we got more mouths to feed, so we should focus on hunting tactics. employ fewer people. But that means we could build more of them. More flying hunters. Hunters based here hunt every night, venturing beyond the city to track their prey. They provide 30 raw food per day. Crash site. The empty hulls of our vehicles crashed during a blizzard. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've been there. I just want to leapfrog to that place, the village.
Yes, I'm becoming one with the game. Transport team is waiting for what? Drop it off. Oh, they can't. We need a resource depot. be a good problem to have. <laughs> I wonder, the soup kitchen one seemed nice, but do I have to build one? You'll have to build two of them. that one. build that infirmary? We sure did. Oh, look at that. Glad to see it. Another one, even. All right, boys, go to the temporary settlement. A soup kitchen. I guess nobody has to work there now because it's nighttime. <sighs> Done. Okay, 18 hours of coal. Alright, that's getting a little more doable. Tis brutal indeed, it is a brutal game.
Field kitchens built. Two field kitchens have been built to provide people with hot meals as you promised. Hope rises. To our prayer, hope rises again. Can I build this? Uh, no. Can I build this on top of that? I can't. Alright, so that's how to upgrade. I was looking for an upgrade button when I clicked before, but it looks like we can just build right on top, which is nice. Send out another group to go get wood, which I would like. Building can't support another. Ah, we need to research more. We're going to get the uh, hunting teams ready. This food's getting a little low. Good, good. Londoners have gained more followers. All right, on to the fishing village. I wonder if the fish have caught any villages. and warm. Okay, now yeah, we've got the uh, flying hunters ready to go. Pop that there. Hunter's tactics might be good. And we can get those people reassigned to something else such as a steam sawmill. I mean the wall drill. Okay. 
But upgrading steel output would be good for research. What happens if the ground is fully covered with buildings? Uh, you'll have to just delete and reorganize. There is only so much space. You're going to give this another go? Well, that's good. I hope more people enjoy this game. and uh, I hope a lot of people who haven't played this before get to play it before the second game. And I hope everybody who enjoyed it before plays again. Honestly, I wish I would have started playing this again two years ago. A and then played it again. Like when the, when the news of Frostpunk dropped. Or Frostpunk 2. I wish I would have played it again. But here we are. We're doing it now. We're doing it live. Okay, I think we're about to keep a big promise. You always picture the flying hunters as wearing squirrel suits. I think they just deploy in like a big zeppelin. Field kitchen, it warms the soul. Sir, people appreciate the field kitchen we built for them. We, uh, They've set a delegation to thank you. We've already thanked our brothers in faith who run the kitchen and will keep them in our prayers in this frozen wasteland. Anything that keeps one warm is a lifesaver. Now what we really should have did is got those guys uh, Spicy chicken sandwiches from Wendy's or those spicy nugs. That that would have been like, you know, be like, well, shut the generator down, boys. We got everything we need, you know. Steelworks Research. All right, cool. All right, we have quite a bit of fuel for now. Um, improved heaters would be good. Lighter. Let's get this scouting done faster. that other one soon. Yeah, they take a little Zeppelin around. I wonder what there is to hunt out there. Turtles? Scout Team 2 has ar arrived at the city. Good. And brought, brought back the kids. Alright, let's go to the Frozen Grove. They hunt bears. How many villagers do 
fish have? Uh, you know, it depends. Oh, there they go. That was cool. The Zeppelin leaving the city like that. They're actually going to a Wendy's drive-thru to pick up an order. What do you guys want from Wendy's? They're on their way. And we can assign a new resource. I'll make it coal for now. I know it's snowing. It's snowing on me. Dude, this is a special effect. <laughs> yeah, these buildings require heat. Or at least it's a better idea to heat them to lower illness. Or at least that's what I've been doing, is trying to keep illness down. I know. I'm looking forward to uh, Frostpunk 2 as well. I really want to see how that game plays out, how construction will work. It's on a much larger scale here. It was like you're taking care of hundreds. That game, it's like it looks like tens of thousands of people. All right. Hey, they made it there. Fishing village. A hot spring keeps a tiny patch of sea from freezing here. The Americans used this opportunity to set up a fishing village. It's deserted now. No place for the weak. The fishing village used to supply Tesla City with food. Searching it, we found a letter. Mike, don't return to the city. Tesla's a madman. He cast out all the amputees and the sick. Jerry's parents and old Beth are among them. Uh, there will be blood, that's for sure, and soon. The village was left in order. We could send them uh, here to, to start fishing. Oh. So we can get food from this area. Yeah, I'd say let's do that. Tesla City? Alright, let's go to Tesla City. A large settlement. Numerous buildings are dimly visible through the shining dome of electrical discharge that is projected over the town. Alright. Weird. You always wondered how this crater formed? Um, the Last Autumn DLC explains some of that. Promise fulfilled. You promised people warmth, and you delivered. Hope rises. Oh, that little bit? Bro, I thought it was going to skyrocket, but no. I got a just a singular hope. With no crust on it. De-veined. Wow. Oh, dude, you did something right? Okay, I guess. Oh, you gave us what we wanted? Yeah, that's fine, I guess. And where's my where's my GD mineral water? Uh, we don't have mineral water. This is the uh, end of the earth. Our species is trying to survive. Ah, unacceptable. Discontent, nine mil... Elden Ring boss battle bar across the top of the screen of discontent. Good thing we uh, started to address the food problem. I think what I'll do is next I'll research the hunting teams 
and then try to just make more hunting teams. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, these guys are like, yeah, I want a... Um, I want a flavorful dressing with zero calories, salt, sugar, or any sort of... But I want it to taste good. Uh, dude, that's not gonna... Oh, I'm all... Oh. Elden Ring discontent. People re regain hope. For the first time, the Londoners have failed to persuade anyone to abandon the city and flee to London. People are recovering from their shock to the news of winter home and starting to hope for the future. Glad to hear that. Oh, good. We're clapping cheeks now. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go this way. We'll go boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Now it goes down to negative 60. And discontent will rise. They're going to be mad. Wait, do we need a care house? Because I have an infirmary now. read the description for the infirmary. Gravely ill can be treated safely and reliably. Okay. But we might need the we might need that building in the future. As overflow for the until they can get from the medical post to the infirmary. It might be a good move. The Bloodline of Village Fantasy RPZ. Ooh. Yeah, send me a DM. I I'd be I'm I'm always always willing to learn about a new city builder. Oh, and it raises hope. Oh, that was a good move. Alright, oh, that was a good move. Do a road, we're good. On the luck. It's getting colder. Mineral water. I don't need all these operating. Just move. Have you live over here? Advanced heaters would be good. Care house promise fulfilled. Care house has been established in accordance with the new law. Hope rises. All right. Oop, I think 
Yeah, turn that on. Negative 75 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what negative 60 is. Wow. Eventually we'll cross like what? 120? Something about heating. No, I don't do overdrive. Heater efficiency. I think we should do tier three mechanical calculators. down that route. Very cold. Well, we got the medical facilities for it. Yeah, that's true. We never have to worry about water. Okay. Oh, explore Tesla City. Uh, the city is modern and meticulously built. A tall tower emits a constant barrier of lightning, deflecting the incoming snow, but nobody comes to greet us. They mentioned the word barrier. That means trouble. Bear. Thunder unleashed. Able minds and bodies will prevail over cold, reads the slogan over the entrance to Tesla City. A central tall tower shines with the blue glow of electric discharges from uh, which form a protective dome over the town. But something went wrong here. Uh, there are charred bodies laying in the streets and the stench of burdened flesh taints the air. We saw a lightning streak from the tower, hitting a building and leaving a gash in its roof. Risk entering the city? Do it. We entered the city. We've seen a thing or two in our lives, but nothing has ever frightened us as much as this blasted lightning. Until we figure out how to switch it off, that is, now we'll be able to establish an outpost here. We get steam cores from there. All right. Let's go to the dreadnought landing. Uh, along the shore of the frozen bay, we can see the outline of an enormous ship, the wide lane of broken Ice leads to it from the west. See how the Americans got here. All right, a little frostbite. Okay. All right, boys, shut it down. Okay, we're building more houses. Um, It'll warm back up again soon. Well, lots of coal. That's good. You know, actually, we gotta move this building anyway. So let's let's demolish this one. That one's okay, though. This one I want to move a little closer. Let's go 
good opportunity to, to do that. Mechanical calculators research. They just finished. Improved heaters and heater efficiency might be good. Faster gathering as well. Infirmary mechanization. Going down the heater route. Uh, do the steam buildings with help help with keeping buildings warmer? Uh, no, they're they're just powered by steam, like it's a tier two. It's just a name, basically. of these. Oof. I'll do it. We need a lot of food. made it to the Dreadnought Landing. Huge ship has been dismantled here. Only its massive keel plates remain under the ice. Railroad tracks lead south. Light to the south. Uh, we found a piece of the hull bolted to a boulder. It's engraved with the following inscription. In the year 1886, the American expedition aboard uh, Hepes, Hefef, whatever, I've heard that name before, Hepes, <laughs> landed here in search of the ha of a haven from the global glaciation. May God preserve the uh, souls of our fellow countrymen who perished on the way aboard our sister ship, the Prometheus. Hephaestus, I think is how you say that. Research station, ice corridor. Let's go to the research station. An oddly shaped building bristling with various antenna and instruments. It looks like some kind of research facility. 156 iron, 102 wood. Uh, keep going. Hey, what's up, Emma? Good to see you. Just in case. I'm a little suspicious after what happened earlier today. Okay, finally to the gro frozen grove. A 
welcome Picasso Raptor good to see you too hello okay and our research is at 0% for improved features yeah so cool to see the dreadnoughts over the city I can't help but think of like uh, uh, reminds me of like Blade Runner Batman the Animated Series, building a steam steampunk Gotham. That, um, Gotham very much has a steampunk feel to it, even in that animated series, which is a banger. Hey, what's up, Billy? Yeah, we're a big fan of this game, too, and that's what, exactly why we're playing it, uh, to get ready for the second uh, second game. So, yeah, very, very excited for it. Food theft. Someone has stolen 17 food rations from the stockpiles. People are saying it was the Londoners gathering supplies for their journey. Seems like... Seems this ridiculous idea of leaving for London is gaining traction. We'll get him. We'll make discontent illegal. And then, boom. Government intervention helped. Oh, nice. We're going to be bringing back 90 raw food. Yeah, Bat Batman was a banger. The uh, animated series, outstanding. Ooh, they're trending down now. And then we'll do evening prayers soon. Cost 20 food rations, but totally worth it. The ice corridor. Uh, we're following the wide corridor of the crushed ice that the American dreadnought USS Hephaestus left in its wake. Triumph of engineering. We marvel at the thick slabs of ice that have been crushed and swept aside by the American dreadnought. Uh, soon we'll be able to learn how it managed to accomplish such feats. You can see a silhouette in the distance that might be the sister ship Prometheus. Carry on. Icebound Dreadnought. Silhouette of a huge ship, most likely the wreckage of the USS Prometheus. The other American Dreadnought, there's no signs of life. They must have been delivering freedom. Were the Londoners except food thieves? Here, here, sister. 
Uh, they're just people who don't feel like we're going to be able to survive here and they just want to go back to London, but it's, fu it's funny because these people are the, these are the first people to like bail on London. Like the reason why most of these people are here because they were just basically like, yeah, we're not going to be able to survive here. Better, I'm going I'm to dip real quick and head out to the Arctic or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, they're basically just people who are like, yeah, this is pointless. Let's head back home to where they're already basically dead. Oh yeah, we ain't sending nobody out there. We're gonna try to survive a little bit. Well, oh my God, it's gonna go down three levels, dear God. We're gonna have to focus on heat upgrades for the next little bit. Oh my God. Build another quick little medical post. Extendo Healthcare. This game is this this is making me want to play uh, War Hospital more. Food's looking in much better shape. Couches have reached the frozen grove. Some trees in the grove bear deep cuts in the shape of a cross. We found some bones scattered around them. Buried shame. Poking around the trees marked with crosses, we found shallow graves under each of them. Dead bodies lack most of the bigger muscles, and some bones have signs of... Uh, and some bones bear the signs of a cutting tool. The corpses have been obviously stripped of edible parts. Now that we uh, know what kept the survivors by the freshwater springs from starving, we'll leave the graves intact, but cut the trees for wood. Sweet baby race. So to go straight home. We'll take a day and four hours. Go here, it'll be four, seven, fifteen. Now let's go straight home. Less for me to manage. They're bringing wood, so we're going to need that. And these guys have wood with them too. Yeah, 102 and then one, no, 229. Oh, good. The Emperor has arrived in his dropship. Lord Vader. Alright, good. Food, food situation looking better. And the heating almost done. Londoners being Londoners, yeah. Well, those are the people who want the avocado toast, mineral water, and also they want all that to be zero calories. Heater efficiency upgrade, let's go with that. Or generator power. Well, let's, let's do generator power. Because now I can heat this building even better. Nope, it's still... Even with the heat, tier 2 heater, it's still worse. I guess we need a soup kitchen there. I'm really just going to have to build a wall drill.
There's also insulation upgrades we could get. takes wood. Sawmill upgrade, that might be good. Cookhouse insulation, healthcare insulation would be good. Damn it, needs wood too. All right. Well, since everything needs wood, we get, we better put some stuff into upgrading the sawmill. But I can't let anybody else get sick. We don't have enough room. Uh, most of the machinery around the USS Prometheus has been dismantled and taken away. The massive uh, steam hammer used to split the thickest ice lies broken by the ship's bow. Calculating genius. The dreadnought is stripped of useful machinery, but its hull contains enough steel to justly establish, uh, justify establishing an outpost here. On the bridge, we found a log with Tesla's last orders. Transfer all supplies and able-bodied survivors aboard Hephaestus. Take amputees only if you have prosthetics to, ma uh, to make them useful. Covered ruined warehouse. It'll get warmer, then we got three days. And then it's gonna get three times as cold, so it's gonna drop to what, 70? Negative 70? Oh boy. Chi Chi's Mexican Buffet. All you can eat. Yeah, that probably warm things up. Some pretty good spicy Mexican food. That's good. Yeah, War Hospital is really cool. Yeah. I want to play that game some more. I just got an email from the guy who does the music for New Cycle. He, want, he wants to send some of the music my way. That's pretty cool. New Cycle has some great music. The Londoners prey on the discontent, if you were persuaded. A member of the Londoners is talking to a crowd. He, he's trying to scare as many as possible into joining the exodus to London, but his visions of doom ring false in the ears of the people who are content with the situation in the city. Ask a cleric to, cleric to reassure. Bro, you can't get an extendo bonus when the trend is down. Well, I guess that's why it's called tendency. It doesn't always tend to go up or down. So I'm going to have to refer to my attorney in this matter. I 
right, this doesn't need heaters. Is this building getting constructed? It's at 40%. It's been there for a while. That might be the work crew there. Are they going to build that damn building? I need that. Counts have arrived at the ruined warehouse. Uh, three of the four walls are still standing, protecting a small stash of snow-covered supplies, wood and raw food. With moderate e effort, we were able to remove the crates containing the supplies from under the snow and put them to good use in the city. Take the resources. Supply depot or frozen pond? Go to the pond. Good thing we've given our people sleds. I, I think this building's glitched. Try that again. Not that. Yeah, there it goes. They weren't constructing it before. Okay. Um, prosthetics. Fighting arena. Yeah, maybe we could put the Londoners in there. Battle it out. Evening bouts will reduce discontent. House of Healing doesn't require engineers, treats the gravely ill, and gives all patients a small hope bonus. Well, I kind of like that idea. Well, let's regular workers work there. But this also says Londoners may occasionally mend their ways. Yeah, we gotta get this hope number up. Go with the temple. So the temple requires 40 wood, 40 steel. There it goes. This building was caught at 40 before. One of those things. on the sawmill upgrade so we can clear out that wood quickly. Good, the number dropped again. Yeah, we'll build the temple and then we'll do House of Healing. 
How do you get wood and other materials? Uh, well, some things can be found from the world map, so we're sending out scouts to different locations, and they're finding those things. When they return, they'll bring it there. We can also build outposts, that, like, for example, that coal mine there. There's a group that's running back and forth every 24 hours that uh, brings back coal. And then wood and stuff. There, there's still some trees here that are frozen that we're cutting down. But then eventually, this, this is like a wall of ice here. And we can build a drill that will, like, drill through the ice and get wood somehow, too. I know. I, I think the, <laughs> the wall drill is the weirdest thing in this game. The wall drill just, like, drills into the wall, and then there's wood. I guess you could do that at your house, too. You drill into the wall and be like, oh, there's, there's wood here. Dude. Who put this here? All right, we're going to need more food, too. But luckily, our people are going to bring back food shortly. Food comes in at night, and then it'll, that number will go up. First Londoner is convinced to stay. Sir, several of the people who wanted to flee to London have decided to trust you and stay. They say that your recent decisions convinced them there is hope for us here yet. Glad to hear that. Uh, a distinct pond in the Frostland. We can use it as a waypoint for further exploration. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. Go to the supply depot. Well, we got a group on the way. Uh, they're, what, nine hours out? They'll bring 200 wood. So then we should be able to build more hunting camps and whatever. And there comes the raw food. Cool. Yeah, we're in an ice crater, but it doesn't explain, like, why drilling through a, an ice wall gives you, like, wood. It's fine. I don't really care. <laughs> the game's so cool, it's like, I'll, I won't ask questions on certain things. Blood time. Get back to blood. Ring, ding, dong. And there we go. Now they're making food. I think what it is is that there's just a there's like a Home Depot that's frozen like over here and you just got to drill a path to the Home Depot. Okay, we're back to -40. Sawmill requires wood, lol. Lol.
Ten people working there, nine sick absences. Wow. Fakers. They're faking. Uh, the shack is falling apart, but its uh, contents still have some value to us. Wood and raw food. A hidden stash. Searching the shack, we found plenty of valuable supplies. We also discovered an abandoned sawmill. Wonder what we'll find at the sawmill. Probably, probably a bunch of, probably a bunch of iron. What's my feeling on the Jurassic World Park films as a whole? Well, I prefer Park to World. That's the era I grew up in, but uh, it's good, and I hope to see more. I like the games a lot. I like the Jurassic World Evolution games. Gonna drop three levels and up two. Oh my god, we're going down to negative. Oh my god, 70? Is that right? Negative 70? Wow. Very bad. I don't really have any wood to do the research at the moment. Well, we could start with something now. Let's start with something. Power upgrade. We're going to start with that as soon as we get wood. There it is. 200 plus 229. Let's get started with the power upgrade. Then we'll do range. You go to the research station. Just go straight there. I don't care. Just go. Get out of my sight. What an amazing game this is, damn. Ixion? Ixion's good, yeah, yeah. If you like this, Ixion and War Hospital are two games that are kind of... They have the vibes. Ixion's cool as hell, though. <laughs> I was glad we went back and took a look at it, but I feel like we could definitely do another full playthrough of Ixion in the future. Oh, you played through this campaign on Extreme after me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're playing on, like, normal or whatnot right now. Mostly because I'm incredibly rusty as well, and... And I, uh... I don't want to have to, like... I, I appreciate a challenge, but also I kind of want to play through these once because there's a lot to cover, and I'd rather, instead of... playing on the hardest difficulty... For this one, I want to experience all the all the missions. So it's like, all right, maybe it'll be a little easier, but we will also get to play more stuff. That's what I'm going for. Cause I want the lore. I want all that juicy lore. It's been a long time since I've uh, played this. Indeed, it is a sawmill. It hasn't been used since a very long time. Everything's covered in ice. There's probably an outpost here years ago. Now there's nothing left of it but fro a frozen sawmill. Well, 232 wood, wow. Actually, you boys go there. group can hit up the research station on the way back. 
Oh, yes, thank you for reminding me about All Quiet in the Trenches. Yeah, I think that came out as well. Did someone send me a DM on that? I wanted to check it out at the Steam Next event like three or three to six months ago, but I didn't get a chance. But yeah, we could play that one. Someone, uh, someone send me a DM. I'll add it to the list. All right, let's do food. Ooh, look, the generator's looking strong. What excited me the most from the Frostpunk 2 gameplay trailer? Uh, just how the map looked. It looks like a rolling, sprawling city, and the fact that there's going to be, like, um... I think there's going to be more more different types of government systems, so there'll be like, I don't know, maybe maybe you could become a king. It looked like they had a, um, like a, a represent, like some sort of representation, like a democracy going with voting and stuff. That'll be really interesting to see how that could be manipulated. And there's currency in the game, too. what I was told. How are we doing on research? Uh, we should be able to finish everything before the next problem. Allows us to raise the temperature in all heat zones by one. The coal consumption is tripled. Okay. We got about a day of coal remaining. I want that group to stand by. Standing by. Oh, yeah, there's oil, too, yeah. You got a shotgun called the Bear Stopper? Yeah, I don't know. The, the Bear Anger. It's only going to anger the bears. Damn, hopes hopes going up there pretty good. Oh yeah, we gotta build the temple now, don't we? Where could we build that? That's a good spot. That should get us the rest of the way. Another theft. Captain, the Lunders are stealing again. They've taken six food rations from the stockpile. People are angry that the Londoners are putting crazy ideas before the needs of the city. Let them be. Uh, what should we do? Okay, so we're researching. Book of Laws is on cooldown. We'll probably go with the medical thing next. How many unemployed do we have? 14. We could probably put those people in the healing huts.
Uh, let's see. We're good. Yeah, you can change the temperature to Fahrenheit if you want to. All right, where were we? Oh good, the new sawmill's ready. And food will be coming in shortly. Thank you, Beth. Appreciate you watching. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Six steam cores remaining. Hmm. Theft of the B. Yeah, if only we had uh, Plow King or Mr. Plow to uh, assist getting through the city. That's who's doing all of our roads right now. That name again is Mr. Plow. Hope rises. Big hope. Uh, the Londoner is stealing supplies. People are angry about the thefts. A crowd has gathered demanding that you stop ignoring the recent thefts. Or you have to do something. When you let these thieves steal our supplies, and more and more people uh, think that the Londoners are right and, and will uh, be safer going with them. Uh, they soon will repent for their sins. I won't do anything about it now. Number of Londoners will rise. Hope and discontent will... Hope will fall. Discontent will rise. Ceremonial service. Hope looking pretty nice. Looking pretty nice. Car parts are tested to negative forty degrees Celsius. Wow. I didn't know that. Okay. 
Seven hours for resupply. These guys. Wait, it's gonna take them 13 hours to go to that research site. Yep. Look at that. Wow, 800 wood. Damn. Oh yeah, people are leaving the Londoners like crazy now. That'll accompany 600 wood. No wrongdoers have been inspi inspired to mend their ways yet. Okay, so now we want the House of Healing. Search complete. And now let's do extendo range. 40 irons required. There we go. Bar is looking nice. When we finish this building, I think that might rise, uh, make it rise even further. The temple, change of heart. Sir, a man was found crying silently in the temple. We approached him to ask if he needed help. He told us he wanted to see you. I thought my faith died long ago, sir, when my wife and daughter's in London. I couldn't see any purpose in a new life, in the fight for survival, but today when I entered the temple, I saw a future for us. Now I'm ready to face it. Glad to hear that. going good there. Five hours and that group will make it. Big dip to uh, 
temperature coming on the 26th, mid, midday 20 on the 26th, okay. Yep, yep. Faith always seems stronger than order to you. Yeah, it could be. Order might be for a more difficult run. On Poipus. shall be built, and then hope shall rise. Oh, in endless mode you can do faith and order. Nice. They both probably have some pretty good bonuses. get bad. Temple influence people to mend their ways. The door of the research station has been bashed in. There are signs of fighting inside, broken furniture, da and damaged scientific instruments, and splatters of blood. Wood, steel, and steam cores. Pro-level players choose order. Yeah, that makes sense. It's harder, but yet probably more beneficial. I'd like to see that. The well, last discovery. Inside the ransack station, we found Tesla's audio diary. A voice speaks. All the observed changes, like the sun's dimming, volcanic ash, could not have ca been caused. Could not have caused such cooling. But what if a huge quake of 1887 in Patagonia was an asteroid strike? There's shouting, crashes, and then silence. Numerous tracks from the door lead to the mountain. So there were volcanic explosions and also an earthquake. Yeah, a multitude of problems. There's a dark opening at the base of a hill, probably an entrance to a cave. We see some smoke coming out of it. Someone's going to be a little hungry. Well, I don't know. And I also want to start insulating homes, too.
boy. I think rather than turning up the generator, we're just gonna brace for the uh, impact, medical impact. Go oh, and get the kids working at the house of healing. Come on in, kids. House of healing has been built in accordance with the new law. Hope rises. All right, the kids can work in the uh, house of healing. As soon as we get more food, then we'll uh, get that hope up even further. Yeah, the temple will... Uh, it fights discontent. So just over time, it'll go down. at the uh, cave hideout. We climbed up to the cave. A low stone wall stands across its entrance. Behind it, we can see several men. A few tired men. As we approach the cave, its inhabitants pull out rifles and take positions behind a wall, barring the entrance. They're in bad shape, weak from malnourishment and illness. Uh, talk to them. Else, we'll try to reason with the Americans and convince them to join us. Nothing like small talk. Seeing that we have no ill intentions, the Americans told us how they dealt justice to the inventor, expelling him from his city. Uh, we buried Tesla's battered body in the cave and are heading home with poor, these poor wretches in tow. Wow. They killed Nikola Tesla. Br brutally beat the hell out of him. Let's go to the stone ship. No snow covered supplies in the stone ship are there. Okay. Wow, this group's bringing a ton of stuff. 35 people, 1,000 wood, 300 metal, 75 food, 7 steam cores. Jeez. Abandoning the Londoners, good. Well, more mouse to feed, so that means more of these. Five scouts are carrying a thousand wood. Well, also, I think you could just say that there's uh, all the people coming with them, too. Help carry. Yeah, kids are working in the hospital, you know, they're learning IV drips and Look, it's the 1800s. What was medical care back then? A hangnail was fatal. Like, oh, bro, we gotta amputate. Nothing we can do. Now, well, we're gonna have to amputate. Here's some whiskey. Long time. Get back to work. Hmm. 
Thanks, Christian, for 25 months as a bear cub. Come back on the stream. Good to see you. Well, we're not going to need these wood uh, facilities working for a little bit. Got that right down. Infirmary mechanization. Infirmaries will imply fewer people. Oh. We'll gain five engineers for that. Nah. Maybe healthcare insulation. That'd be good. Let's do uh, that first. Londoners down to 30. Oh, let's turn these off, actually. I don't want them operating. I don't want them using coal. Gathering posts are good. Maybe after this we'll... Uh build another coal mine. Because we're going to get workers back from the hunting mechanization, so that'd be good. I'm doing it. We're going to have over a thousand, uh, almost two thousand coal in just a second. those hunting team reductions so I can put more people in the mines. And or double down on the amount of food. Like build even more. Those guys will be back in about 12 hours. Do more on food. Oh, 
want more storage. Makes no sense that you reduce the number of hunters, then you get more food. Yeah, it just makes it more efficient. Like what I what I want to do is take that workforce and then put them into even more food. I don't think it. Yeah, it'll employ fewer workers. So, if all these buildings require five less people, fifteen down to ten times one, two, three. Like eight, seven or eight buildings. Like what, 30, 40, 50 people? And we can put them into the mines. Like men. Damn it. I think we're going to have to build the steam thing over here. Yep, as soon as we can, we'll probably build a steam hub there and keep that whole area warm rather than dealing with the heaters. Discontent's going to rise, though. It's going to get cold. They're just going to be mad about it. This is the way it is. It's just the way it is. All right, the guys are about eight hours out. that smoke looks we could research a, or we could unlock emergency shift and then go into the extendo the extendo is a little more humane I think But I think eventually we're going to have to take an emergency shift. Especially when the storm hits. Sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand at every cost of everything or we'll die. do it sometime give them the sawdust yeah you want me to add sawdust to the soup that adds flavor and five out It does add a lot of 5 ale. Yeah, the, the the faith route also has been costing us a lot of food because as we've been doing some of these sermons and stuff, it costs food. Some of them. But we eat.
All right, so a lot of raw food should roll up. You know, I don't know if we have housing for new people. Sawdust is this era's version of Spanish rice from Taco Bell. Oh my god, you're right. Oh, look at this. The Londoners are, are almost done. Mm-hmm. They're not going to go. They ain't leaving. Oh, boy. But here comes the cold. Discontent will rise. Right as they're starting the work day, too. Scouts have returned safely to the city. We'll let the scouts stay put for a minute. It begins. Well, wooden iron is full.
Oh, look at that. 74 people were just freed up. Or at least that's how many we have free now. Alright, so there goes 30 right there into the into the coal. And our coal shipment's an hour out. Perfect. You haven't seen me play this in ages? Yeah, it's been a long time. Okay, now... could do generator efficiency upgrade again which probably would be a good good thing at this point or coal mining optimization that's an easy one let's do that yeah we got nobody sick damn another soup kitchen here okay we can do the extendo shift uh, building a city in the frozen hell requires sacrifice. People will get more done if they work longer shifts. After introducing the law, we can pass one in 18 hours. Working overtime causes discontent. You can now extend the workday in any facility to 14 hours. And that's what we're doing here. Those coal numbers up. Hey, what's up, D? Ugh. Guy's trying to persuade again. those coal numbers up. We're going to research uh, coal mining and then we're probably going to research um, oh.
think I'm going to invest heavily in the coal mines. Shrine increases productivity as well. Get it going, people. Production of coal is the most important. Uh, would Frostpunk be more interesting if it had its own anime? You know, honestly, I, I would love to see some more of this game outside of the game. I would love to see a live-action Netflix series. I would love to see anything. Yeah, a any sort of television media. Something you could watch that's outside of this. The game's outstanding, but man, it would be fascinating if they made their own story and... something cool like that. Man, all those extra burners are really burning us. We'll be back uh, sometime soon, everybody, for a little bit more of the uh, Frostpunk stream. So thank you very much, everyone, for being here and being awesome. You guys are fantastic, and I'll see you uh, for more in the future. Thank you very much. Uh, Fire Moon, make sure you read the rules down below in the description for your next uh, time joining us in the chat. Thank you very much, everybody, for being a part of the Big O streams, and we'll see you all next time. I'll be back in a little bit for our next stream, so I hope to see you there. It's going to be extremely cool. I'll see you all for more Frostpunk in the future, too. It's going to be good. All right, I'll see you next time.